not so long ago, her heart almost killed her. Now it could be Australia's Olympic weapon. This is Campbelltown's Erin Densham on a typical day in Arizona. The land of the cactus, the coyote and the blazing hot sun. At least out here, no chance of being run over. <laughs> well, let's hope not. Might get bowled over by a coyote or something, but um, just got to steer clear of those cactus. That she's even here is a small miracle. Look at the win right there. Three years ago, she was rescued from the water at this triathlon in Iowa. Her heart was in meltdown. 270 beats a minute. That's more than four every second. Obviously, it got to the point where I was actually fearful for my life in the end. The leading group Not only did well she together. survive a heart operation, this year she won at Malulaba and Sydney. What an incredible performance. Two wins uh, back to back, you can get addicted to that. <laughs> it is something to get addicted to. <laughs> now her sights are set on San Diego. A win in a triathlon there tomorrow should secure her spot on the Olympic team. Which means the kilometres she's travelling now are the most important of her career and she's covered a few. In more than 10 years of training and competition, Erin has traveled enough distance to circumnavigate the globe four times. So she's grinding down the laps, wearing out the road. I don't think I've reached my potential. Which... Those, those girls better look out then. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's hope so. And who knows where my peak performance will be? We'll never know, but hopefully it'll be on that start line in London. Denham Hitchcock, Nine News, Arizona.